Now let's turn our attention to yesterday's NFL highlights featuring the unbeatens as they went into the day's action. Unbeaten Miami against the Jets at Shea Stadium. First quarter, Miami ball, fourth and eight at their own 15. Back to punt. And watch, 26, Donald Dykes, the rookie defensive back, locks it. The ball picked up by Johnny Lynn, the other rookie defensive back. Seven to nothing, Jets in the third quarter. The Jets, who were amazing yesterday, 20 to 10 over Miami. Miami's ball, first and 10 at the 50. The pass from Greasy, intended for Jimmy Cephalo, but that's number 40, Bobby Jackson. Look at him go. 58 yards, the score, and the Jets at 26 to 10. In the fourth quarter, it was 26 to 20, the Jets, Miami rallying. Richard Todd deep to Wesley Walker, the speedster from California. 71 yards, touchdown. The Jets won it 33 to 27. Veteran Stadium in Philadelphia. Injury riddled Pittsburgh against the Eagles playing without Bill Berge. Out for the year. Second quarter action. 7-0 Steelers. The Eagles ball. Second and 10 at their own 40. Jaworski back to the tight end. Keith Brefley. He had a fine day as the graphic showed you. This for a 30-yard game to the steal of 30. Then again right there. And... It was a great play for 27 yards to the steal at three-yard line. Three plays later, third and one. Leroy Harris obtained from Miami. In for the touchdown, tied the game at seven. We move ahead to third quarter action. The Eagles now leading 10 to seven. Pittsburgh ball, second and 10, their own 15. Terry Bradshaw intercepted by 95. Johnny Bunting, he returned it to the Steeler two-yard line. That set up a Will Montgomery one-yard touchdown, and the happiness is supreme. The Eagles won it 17-14. Cleveland at Houston. Cleveland coming down from cloud nine after their tremendous victory over Dallas last Monday night. Second quarter, 10-3 Houston. Houston ball, third and three. The Browns 19. 34, Earl Campbell sweeping left. 17 yards down to the Cleveland two. That young man is going to be, before his race is run, one of the greatest runners of all time. This was the next play. And there goes Earl Campbell, running right this time. In for the touchdown that made it 17-3 Houston in the second quarter with the score still 17 to 3 Houston Cleveland's ball first and 10 their own 26 Brian Seip throws it's intended for 85 Dave Logan but picked off by 33 J.C. Wilson all the way downfield 34 yards the score Houston 24 Cleveland 3 and the Oilers went on to win it 31 to 10 Cleveland no longer unbeaten at Soldier Field in Chicago. Tampa Bay going into the game unbeaten. Action in the second quarter. Tampa Bay ball. First and ten at the Tampa Bay 39. There goes the brilliant rookie Jerry Eckwood from Arkansas. He runs right all the way downfield. 61 yards. The longest run in Buck history. And that put Tampa Bay ahead 7 to nothing in the fourth quarter. Leading 10 to 6 was Tampa Bay. Chicago ball, first and 10, their own 35. Vince Evans, watch this, sets up a screen left. And there it is to the great one, Walla Payton, number 34. And he pours it on. Give him an inch, he can take a mile. Watch this. Now he'll get down to the five. And look at him leap in. Touchdown. The Bears moved ahead 13 to 10. But this Tampa Bay Buccaneer team, coached by John McKay, means business this year. Here's Doug Williams. Bucks ball, third and two, the Bears eight. He throws it to number 81. That'll be Isaac Higgins. In for the touchdown. The Bucks, the only unbeaten.